In this Adobe Illustrator and laser cut tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a DXF file from Fusion 360, properly scale the DXF file, and then change the vector lines so they are appropriate for laser cutting on an epilogue laser cutter. Here I have a DXF file that I exported from Fusion 360. I'll select the file and select open. A dialog box will show up, and this is the most important step. We need to not have the artwork original size, not scale to fit the artboard. We want to scale by 100%, but not by points. We want to select millimeters, unless you exported your file in a different format. Notice when I change it to millimeters, instead of one to one, it has this decimal equivalent. We need to change this to one. So we're scaling by 100% and one scale unit to one millimeter, then select OK. This will import the file at the proper scale. Now we need to change the lines so that they are readable by the laser cutter. Notice that there are two layers. That's because in Fusion 360, I selected export different operations as separate layers. That's because I want to cut the holes first. Generally, I'll label the layers the colors that I want to cut. Red by default is generally cutting, but I like to label them green for the first one. So I always remember that that's the first one to cut. So I can hide this layer, and I notice that layer number one, which is out of order, is this blue layer. I can double click on the layer and then change it to green and press OK. Notice that does not change the color of the lines. It's just the layer. And so you can even label this cut first or one, but that's, that's up to you. So I'll label this cut first. That way I never forget that that is the layer to cut first. With only this layer visible, I want to select everything. So I have these two circles selected. Then I can go to properties. Under stroke, I want to change the stroke color. For this, I want it to be 100% green, just like that. And then for the stroke itself, I want it to be 0 0.001. So it's 0 0.001 points and it's green. Notice that it is very light, but it is still there. This way, the laser cutter will default to thinking that is cutting. I'm going to go back to layers. I'll hide the cut first, and now I'll show layer number two. I'll change this layer name to cut second. Then I'll select all of the lines. Select properties. These are already red, so all I need to do is select 0 0.001 for the stroke width. Now, as you can see, these are very faint lines and everything is prepared for laser cutting. Now I can send this to my laser cutter. When I'm in the epilogue laser cut print dialog, I can separate the operations by color and then make sure that the green color is on top. That way it'll cut the holes first and everything will be laser cut in the proper order. Hopefully this helps you set up a laser cut toolpath in Adobe Illustrator.